Hi, and welcome back to the Lisa Nichols Show. This is that place where we have courageous conversations, educational conversations. This is that place where we come together as a tribe and a safe space to grow, to expand, to see ourselves and to see each other. I love reading your comments, so keep them coming. I want to hear from you. In this episode, we're going to talk about the science of speaking. Now, let me be clear. I'm not talking about the science of speaking just for platform speakers. I'm talking about the science of speaking for anyone opening their mouths and wanting to deliver a powerful message. Whether you're a teacher or an attorney, whether you're a politician or a musician, whether you're a mom, a dad, whether you're a student, professional, an artist, words are powerful. No matter what line of business you're in, or lifestyle that you have. Speaking is critical. Being able to convey a powerful message, being able to hold an audience, captivate an audience of one, 10, a hundred, a thousand or 10,000 is important. You know, over the course of the last 20, 25 years, um, I've been blown away constantly at the response to my speaking. And it was only in maybe the last five, seven years that I began to really look at the science of what I and other speakers who were considered to be powerful, prolific, um, unforgettable speakers were doing. I dare put myself in that category, but many have told me that. And there's a science of powerful speaking. So get your pen and paper or pull out your notes inside your phone, your smartphone. And let me give you some quick techniques on how you can really move yourself to being one of the most powerful speakers in your circle. Number one, you want to show an experience versus tell an experience. Now, let me tell you what that means. You want to write this down. You want to tell your audience of one or 100 or 10. You want to tell them what you were thinking, what was going on in your head, And how are you feeling? Now, I started with probably one of the most vulnerable techniques in speaking. Therefore, people will do it the least. So if you do it, it automatically raises your USP, your unique serving proposition, meaning it makes you stand out from the rest. You want to be remembered the way other people are not, do what other people are not doing. And that's in our first technique. Show the story, show the experience versus tell me about the experience. And how you do that is you tell me what you were thinking, what was going on in your head. As I sat inside the waiting room, my head was racing right there. Tell me what it was racing and saying. What will they say? What will they do? Will they accept me? Am I going to get this? Am I going to get proven? Am I going to get accepted for this? If I don't, what will happen? All of a sudden, you took me in your head, the gift of knowing what you were thinking, because many of us think the same thing. We just don't talk about it. And then the second part to that, tell me what you were feeling. I felt my heartbeat going really fast. Oh my God, I think I'm actually nervous. I think I'm actually scared. I haven't been scared in a long time. That made me realize how much I really wanted this job. I really wanted this acceptance, whatever that thing is you're talking about. You see, I took you in my head and in my heart. In this day of social media, snail mail, Twitter mail, text mail, LinkedIn mail, Facebook mail, you know, Twitter mail, all all these forms of internet connection, what we miss most is true connection. So when you decide to show a story versus tell a story, you actually are creating this bond between you and the listener because you gave them the gift of what you were thinking because they were thinking something similar at some point in their lives and the gift of what you were feeling because they were feeling something similar some t- at some point in their lives. So that's technique number one. Technique number two, the way to immediately connect with an audience. And if you've been on my campus, either online or live, you know of these but you can never get enough of the lesson. I believe that repetition is not the mother and father of learning. Repetition is the mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, and second cousin of learning. So even if this is the third time or the fifth time you've heard it, then I want to make sure you treat it as if you're hearing it for the very first time. And if this is your first time, take notes and apply it immediately at dinner today or at breakfast tomorrow. The second technique 
is the audience connection formula or as it's lovingly known on my campus, the me, we, you formula. And I give you these two formulas and these two techniques because the Lisa Nichols show are short little segments of content and contribution into your lives. I have 17 different techniques. I'm going to give you these two in this particular episode because they're the two that creates the strongest connection, the fastest. I didn't say they were the easiest to do though. Let me be clear. They just bring about the biggest return. They have the highest ROI. So the audience connection formula or AKA me, we, you formula. That's when you let the audience know I'm not speaking from a mountaintop audience of one or audience of a hundred or audience of 10,000. I'm not speaking from a mountaintop down to you. I'm not speaking over here and you're over there. We are together, you and I. So it creates an, a, a, a sense of glue, a sense of community, a sense of camaraderie. And in this social climate day, this is the experience that people are looking for. It's not like it was 40 years ago where you speak from a mountaintop. I am here, you are there. And if you do it like me, you will experience the atmosphere on my mountaintop. Yeah, those days are over, Rover. And this is now time for people to say, listen, climb the mountain. Cause I know what it feels like to stand on the top of the mountain. But as you climb, I'm going to climb with you. You're not going to climb by yourself. So the audience connection formula does that instantly. Like instantly, it's beautiful. So me, we, you, right? AKA, and that gives you, that gives away kind of what the technique is. So first you put your own skin in. If you want me to put skin in as an audience, you want me to give you my heart, lend you my ear, then you give me something first. Think of it that way. Whenever you're speaking, you give it up first. You show me yours, I show you mine, right? And then the second part is we're in this together. And then the last part is where you show up as a teacher. Have you ever? So you do want to make sure that you have a distinction that you're the educator, you're the speaker, but you want to do it after you've created a community. So how that looks is there was a time in my life when I often questioned if I was good enough to be a speaker, if I was good enough, smart enough to be a CEO, can I run a company? We have a tendency to have a desire, have a dream, um, have a goal, and then almost instantly question, are we the person to make it happen? Has there ever been a time in your life when you wanted something and you really, really felt like it was something that you should get or that you could handle? And then you instantly question, are you the right person for that task? Did you see it? I just did it to you. Me, we, you. First part is there was a time when I write that down. Second part is we have a tendency to write that down. And then the third part is have you ever? So just do that. You can do variations later when you become more savvy at it. But right now, the intro level is there was a time when I, you choose the experience. We have a tendency to, you choose the common ground experience. Have you ever, you choose the question, all related to the same topic. Me, we, you, audience connection formula. Use those two techniques and literally you will see your speaking go up immediately. You got to practice them so they, be, they begin to feel natural. But once they do, you'll see your audience will do only one thing, want more of you. Now remember, this show is not just a monologue. No, 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 no. I am not performing for you. This show, this community is a dialogue community. I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what's on your heart. I would love to know one of the biggest ahas you had just from this episode. What did you hear about those two techniques? And you're like, oh, Okay. Or have you been unconsciously doing them? Unconscious competence is beautiful. I've had it for a long time. And then I turn my unconscious competence into conscious competence. Is that the case here? Make sure that you leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe. Listen, I don't want a quickie. This is not about you just come and go. This is about us staying together, walk the journey. And if it feels good to you, then it feels good to us for you to be here. So we want to walk that journey with you of growth and transformation and exploration and expansion and seeing you win. Look out for more amazing content in the future because we're all a part of the same tribe, giving great contribution. After all, this is your home and we are your tribe. And I am your sister and possibility and in prosperity. And when I say I believe in you and I love you, it's because I do. I'll see you soon.